Good morning. It's Sunday morning, out for a walk. I decided to take a different route today. And it's actually quite isolated, but still too many people driving up and down the road. Who's out on a Sunday morning? Now, technically we're not in lockdown, we're in the gray zone. But, so, now people can go to church, which is fine. See, this is where I'm walking here. Right behind me here, yeah, that's it. I'm gonna switch it around, so just give me one second and we'll talk more. All right, welcome back to my walk. And so, I've been having a little bit of difficulty going for my walks lately because it's so slippery on the sidewalks. So I'm sticking to the roads as much as possible today. And you can see pure pavement. And since I've been walking up this street road, uh, there's been two cars coming in each direction and I have to get over to the side to make sure I don't get knocked over. Drivers drive right down the middle where the yellow line is and don't have a care in the world. You know, I know I'm being a little bit uh, of a pain in the ass expecting people to stay on the one side of the line or the other, but how am I supposed to know where to walk? <laughs> Sorry. Okay. So, I won't make you endure more than a few minutes of my walk today, but I just wanted to come and say hey. Now this road takes me up to the main drag here in Fort Erie, which is Highway 3 or Garrison Road. So when I get up there, which is way up there, you can sort of look at the end of the road and it's still a little farther than that. So I got probably a 15 minute walk from over here. I can't speak, sorry. A 15 minute walk here to get to the top of the road. And then I think it'll be another half hour, 45 minutes to get home. And you know what? As long as I don't flip on my ass, I'm okay with that. I like to walk. And uh, another reason I'm taking these videos and stuff, aside from just wanting to put it out there. So I went to the doctor. Oh, that's a cute little bird. Went to the doctor. You know, I've had surgery recently. And I've had heart, heart issues in, two, in, in the year 2020. In March, a year ago, March. Oh crap, it's not even been a year yet. And uh, I had a stent put in. And it's all been good since then, as far as my heart goes. And then, of course, I had my appendix rupture and had it removed about a month ago, or within the last month. But the heart doctor. Starts talking to me about, can you walk four blocks? It's like, listen, dude, I've always been able to walk. The only time I haven't walked, and sometimes I was just lazy and I wouldn't go for walks, but if I walk, I can walk, I could walk 10 miles if I want, but going around the outside, the outskirts of Fort Erie, which is that long walk that I take, which is about two and a half hours or three hours, because I take my time. Uh, it's about five miles. Miles, not kilometers, miles. And I don't even, it's not even a big deal. You know, if I push it a little bit, maybe it might be a problem, but I have a few pounds extra, but I gotta tell you, that I can walk with the best of them. I'm not talking pro athletes, but you know what I mean. So, uh, that's the deal. Annoyed at doctors who ask me if I can walk four blocks. It's like, 
Really? So I'm going to show them these videos next time and say, Dude, not only can I walk four blocks, I walk almost an hour every day. So, enough. Hopefully that'll shut them up. Okay, I stopped ranting for the moment anyway. I am going to stop this part of the video and I'll catch you on the, uh, on the top side and we'll keep going. There's a car coming anyway, so I gotta watch my life here. So we'll talk soon. All right, everybody, how you doing? We're back. This house is for sale. I wonder how much they ask for it. It's pretty nice, actually. It's a little bit too close to the main road, but yeah. So we're almost up to Highway 3. I just took a stop to look at the house. Hopefully everybody can still hear me. Okay. So we're just coming up. You can see the road at the stop sign there. On the left. Is the school company called Dunn. They basically... All the school buses. This is not the only one, obviously, but it's one of them. On the right... <coughs> coming up is Bill's Toyota, the only Toyota dealership here in town. Okay. I am so looking forward to winter being over. Look at all the snow. Ugh, it's terrible. I know some people love snow, but try having to shovel it. So, coming up here is uh, Garrison. And like I said, it took about 15 or 20 minutes to get up here. start walking to, towards my place. It's definitely a shorter walk than last week when I basically walked around the whole town. But still, a good long walk, nonetheless. <clears throat> and back there, you can sort of see, is like one of those car washes where you put in some coins or I don't know if they take bills now, but... And wash your vehicles. It used to be $4 for the basic time frame. So that's that. So Vero's car wash. I haven't washed my car in a while. It's not like I really needed to. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to stop this and I'll be back. Alright, everybody. So, like I said, done the mover. I assume they do moving, but they... The big part of their business is um, school buses. So uh, this is Garrison Road, the main road here in Fort Erie. And I was telling you about the sidewalks, so I gotta watch that I don't flip on my back. At least there's a little bit of bare spots here. <laughs> oh, this is not. Oh, is this? Yeah, this is the sidewalk. I was thinking, is this the sidewalk? Yes, it is. Okay. So clearly I'm going to have to go around this because uh, I'm not... If I was a youngin, I might have tried to go over it, but I am not. So I will not. I've been struggling with a an injury or a pain in my back for the last week or so and it's gotten better but not still not a hundred percent 
Oh, thank God. Okay, some bare sidewalks. <laughs> uh, it's always a concern when it's got ice and snow. You never know if you're going to hit a patch of ice and that'll be that. So last week I did a, an hour long video and it would have been longer except for my phone battery died so I couldn't get the rest of it in. This is sort of part of the second half of the journey. It's pretty quiet for a main road. You figure on a made a highway there'd be a lot more cars but it is Sunday morning I think about 8, 8.30 somewhere in there. There's a business coming up. Is it? Did I already pass it? Uh, basically, uh, well, I think it's coming up. It's on the right hand, on the other side of the road there. That is uh, Mexican. You know, honestly, I love Mexican food, but because I'm more low carb eating, I don't eat. I don't eat Mexican as much. However, what I'll do is I'll do a uh, taco bowl with that taco, of course. So ground beef and. Um, jalapeno and sour cream and cheddar cheese and uh, shredded and onions and all the good stuff. The only thing I don't like, and I know people are going to say, how can you not like this? But I am not a fan of guacamole or avocado for that matter. But I do, uh, use avocado oil for cooking because it can be cooked at higher temperatures in some things like uh, olive oil is not good for cooking at higher temperatures it's great for salads and if you're slow cooking something that's okay but i wouldn't try it if you're like you know how you you like to uh i don't know the terminology for it but you basically want to cook on high heat or medium to high heat one side of a burger and then the other and then slow cook the inside a little bit uh, I do that or with filet mignon wrapped in bacon um, if I like I'll use filet mignon wrapped in bacon as an example so I'll have a light coating of mustard on the outside and I'll, I'll sear the outside of each side on a little bit higher heat and then I'll cook, I'll cook it longer at a lower heat. There it is. The, the Agua Cafe Mexican Grill. One day when I'm cheating on my keto, or not eating keto for whatever reason, I will take a look at the Agua Cafe. House. People, I think a lot of renters rent this house, but I'm not 100% sure. <sighs> Sidewalk's a little bit fucked up. There's the Agua Cafe. And now is that those lights up there. I don't know if you can see them, but there's some lights there by the school. And those lights were put in because people would, well, you couldn't get out of the school. So they had to put the lights in to allow people to get out, you know, on school let out. Uh, it slowed people down too. Uh, this uh, road, Garrison Road, Highway 3, has a 60 kilometer speed limit, but during this area here, when school's in, let, you know, it, it, you have to slow down to 40. Um, it's like a cute little school. I don't know what the capacity is. I believe that the students are back in school now. A little bit windy, I can feel. I can feel the wind blowing across my face. 
you might even be able to hear it. I'm sorry, I don't have a fancy dancy mic or anything. It's just a mic on the phone. So this is the kind of thing you gotta watch out for on the sidewalk so you don't get hurt. Now coming up here on the left in a bit there's a general store called Garrison General Store. Um, however, I've never been in it, so I don't know. Hopefully they got some good business, but it, I don't tend to do a lot of consuming. Sort of try to be more minimalist. So I still buy stuff. Of course, but people say, well, what do you mean, of course? What I mean is, I buy stuff when needed, and I try not to overbuy. If I don't need something, I try not to buy it. So the general store says open. I'm just going to show you in a second here. But I've never honestly been in it. Anyway, hopefully it's got some good stuff. And I'm not sure what kind of product they sell. Um, maybe it's like a variety store that's like it's a good size, so maybe like an expanded variety store or something. Uh, there is competition. There's I think an Avon Mart just coming up here. On the left is the Tim Hortons near me. So, okay, I'll come out here. This is terrible. So, <laughs> you can see da, da, da. where are the hiking boots, and they're generally pretty good, but no matter what you're wearing, unless you're wearing spikes, I guess that's the best thing to avoid, you know, sliding too much. here on the left hand side we have Timmy's like I said Tim Hortons it's a drive through and so right now we're just driving past here. I'll have to be a little careful once they try to leave here. The, they drive so quickly they almost run you over. And this dude here, I don't know if he's coming or going or what. It's hard to tell because the people don't use their indicators much. Okay, and then you have over here, you have the Avondale. I thought it was Evan Mart, it was Avondale. You have Mer um, Penn Financial Credit, Credit Union. Sorry, the wind is <laughs> making it a lot harder to talk. <sighs> All right, so there's the, the, the Avondale there and the Penn Financial Credit Union. And that's the street I'll be turning down to walk towards my home. And that's the final turn on this little walk up, so I'm only going to show you the beginning of it and then we'll shut it down so I can just relax and finish off the walk. And we'll see how long the walk total was. I think I started this morning at 7.32 a.m. And uh, we'll see what time I, it is when I get in the door and that'll be the length of the walk. I stopped a couple of times to take a video, a quick video, but well, that was like a minute each. And so I like Sunday mornings because it's quieter, it's as quiet as you're going to get unless you're going to do it in the middle of the night. So we'll turn down here, and then we'll say good day. 
all the snow here. And it'll say good day. And I hope everyone has a fantastic Sunday. And stay safe, stay home, unless you have to go somewhere. We'll talk to you later. Bye.